Hello, car flippers. Welcome to One Pack Crash, where we open one pack of trading cards from throughout gaming history. Uh, today is the 30th anniversary of Galactic Empires. Um, if you've never heard of this game, there's probably a good reason. Um, as you can tell, very, uh, very attractive packaging here. Uh, it's a science fiction card game. Came out, again, 1994. So, it was literally, I mean, it literally came out on the heels of, like, Magic and Spellfire. So, it was one of the first ones out of the gate during the original TCG Glut. Uh, let's see here. So, let's see, this expansion pack contains 12 cards for adding to your Galactic Empire's deck. Please note, there is no rule book, Which is a good thing, because I bought this game back in the day, and the rule book was... Uh, it was a slog to get through, especially for, you know, what was I, 13 at the time? I didn't buy it when it came out in 94, I think I bought it in 96, I think I bought a, when I was starting to get into trading card games, but I wasn't quite getting into Magic Gathering yet. There was a, a bookstore, it might have been Walden Books, I can't remember. Uh, but, like, right there near the registers, there was a big display of all these trading card games. And I just grabbed whatever looked cool. I remember the the uh, word, the cards didn't really make sense. So, let's see if it figures out. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's see here. You need to purchase the Galactic Empire Battle Deck to get a copy of the rules. You do not already have them. And this game lasted until 1997. Somehow. Alright. Now look at that. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> That's Maybe? Oh, shit, which way is up on this thing? Oh, we're about to find out. Alright. Oy, give out. Okay, maybe it was not, uh... Oh, well. That is definitely an art choice. I, oh, oh, we're gonna have to get through these the best we can. Uh, Indiri... Edurigan Frigate. Uh, I guess it costs four. Um, Edurigan Nomad's Frigate. Many wandering tribes use these small units. All opposing Indigrian ships must be eliminated before firing on bases or non Indigrian ships. Uh, that's, I guess, that's its power. Yeah. You pay that to use the bitartanium boomerangs, you pay that to use phasers. I don't know how you determine damage on these. E1. I guess... Because <clears throat> this says S4. I guess that's Spaceship 4. E1. Kerbiz Armor. Kerbiz Armor. Kerbiz Armor. These metallic plates enhance the strength of the Kerbiz ship on which they are played. May only be played on a cruiser, not on a capsule. Plus one point of strength. Exclusive Kribbiz technology. B2, I guess that's base 2. Uh, defensive satellites. The, the goal of the game is to destroy your opponent's HQ. And you attack them with ships and eh, stuff of that nature. Uh, the empires would deploy defensive satellites on occasion to uh, occupy terrain in hostile areas or locations needed to add to... to Locations well, needing added defense. They really did not think about how designing this. The first point of damage drops the number of usable phasers by two. The second point destroys the satellite. I, mm, hmm. I'm wondering if that's like it's defense. That's, it's, I don't know. Like I said, I couldn't find the rules. The bases were just like, oh, this happens. L3, Lucky Targeting. Uh, lucky Targeting. All weapons fire from the ship or base 
on which this card is played is multiplied by 1.5 drop fractions. I wish we could drop fractions. Uh, discard it after use. Now, I guess discard after use. But, okay. Early warning beacon. It's 03. Uh, an early warning boogie triggers the invasion alert. Allows five cards to be played on this turn. The turn this card is played, this is one of the five. Discard after use. Vectrian Destroyer. Huh. Like that, I guess maybe that's defense. Uh, a destroyer class of engineering ship. Vectrian Destroyers were manufactured heavily for mercenary employment. One square for specialized weapon mount. Two for phasers. Two cross phasers. Shuttle Bomb. I'm thinking it might have been a different game that was Galactic something. I'll have to look at my archives. It's somewhere. I still, I think. Shuttle Bomb! Allows, allows a shuttle or fighter on which it is played to become an explosive weapon. Well, that'll do it. May only be played on your own shuttle or fighter. Impacts on one target causing damage equal to the strength of the shuttle or fighter card. Hmm. The shuttle or fighter card and this card are discarded when used in this fashion. A little fading there. Playing it. That's nice. This is ter territory. I'm guessing those are resources. Uh, located in Sigri 3. Located just inside S Scorpion territory, Sigri 3 is a world where with moderately production levels, moderate production levels, a majority of its goods are smuggled over the border into the free trade zone against the wishes of the Scorpion feet. feet. Scorpion Starfleet. Or Dragonus. Okay. It's a dragon. The Oort Dragon lives in seclusion outside a solar system within the Oort Cloud. This solitude makes them versatile. Healing. Repair points. Can only be used on dragons or monsters. Weapon damage to Oort Dragons is halved. 2x for physical damage, 1 square breath weapon. I guess that's defense and health. Nakade Battlecruiser. Yeah. A distortion cannon does not does one point of damage to each ship to every ship and base in the fleet of one opponent. Hmm. So Maybe this is damage. I mean, this is one damage for distortion cannon, three damage subspace whoops, two for drams. Research defiler. I bet he is. This monster corrupts data files, slowing the research process. The opponent fleet on which it is played generates half, drop fractions, of the normal amount of research, requires two monster negating crew cards in play, in the affected fleet to discard it. Hmm. Macha Maca Macaid Regnaut. Oh, Mark Poole. Wait, is Mark Poole... I can't remember if Mark Poole is good or not. Oh boy. No, I think he's, he's fine. He's fine. I think he's fine. Uh, that's a big old star. And Distortion Cannon does one point of damage to every ship and base in the fleet. So yeah, it's got Distortion Cannon 1, 6 Subspace Whips, and 2 Tramps. Alright. I have no idea any of these cards. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick an MVP and call it a day. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to say the MVP is the Research Defiler. Because again, I, it knocks, makes you like... Half research, which I'm sure if you're doing a research deck might be a problem. If you're not, then you probably don't care. But, I mean, still, it sounds pretty nasty. So that is Galactic Empires. One of the first few games out of the gate in 1994. And, hmm, as you can tell, it didn't survive. It did not survive. In any case, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a retro-tastic day.